Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel DJ XTE Entertainment. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick video of how to make a uh, power con or a um, electric box uh, instead of using those ugly extension cords. Uh, this is a good way to just go get you some uh, uh, wire from your uh, hardware store and it's fairly cheap it's actually I think cheaper than getting extension cords if you like this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to comment whether it's good or bad it's any comments always welcome we are growing our channel and part of growing it's learning what we're doing right what we're doing wrong so I hope you guys enjoy this video this is the stuff you're gonna need to make your box power cord box we got some 15 gauge 3.0 wire you can find this at electric store uh, our, you can also find it at Home Depot and Lowe's but it will be a little bit more expensive you can get it for thir about 37 cents a foot your box for your outlets to go in you'll come in silver or gray I painted it black it just makes it a little bit easier to hide um, and not be able to see it from so far then a cover for two outlets and you get two of your 15 amp outlets I got mine black too being that I'm trying to hide it as much as possible you can also get uh, your plug. This is the, what's going to plug into the wall. 15 amp plug. Run you about $3. You need uh, three wires, your ground, your hot wire, and your neutral to hook the two outlets together. Um, you need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a knife, uh, wire strippers, and some pliers. I'm going to show you what you're going to need this for. And then you also need this, which is to... Um, clamp the wire down together to the box that way when you're pulling on it it's not going to come loose from the outlets so the reason why you're going to use these pliers is because if you notice on this outlet it's got this corners on this outlet's already took it off reason why you're going to want to take it off sometimes you can buy it without these corners here because this type of box this one's when you try to put them in there they won't fit flush so you're going to have to take this corners out that way when you put the cover on there you will be able to slide it on flat so right here this already has a crease on here that way it's easier to take this corners off you just grab a hold of it and bend it back and forth pops right off so you do that to all of the corners pops right off then you do it to this side. This is probably the hardest part of it, but it's still not very hard. Pops right off. This three wires is what you're going to use to plug from one outlet to the other one. Uh, so you're going to want to strip about a well, quarter of an inch on each side. You don't need very much. Uh, you kind of play around with it and see what works best for you. I'm going to do that real quick. And this is when this comes in handy. And then you want to make a about a 180 loop on your outlet. It's important to remember that brass is for black, white it's for white wire. So we're going to start with the brass. You want to put the loop in the direction of which you're going to tighten the screw. It's better for it to not come off. Once you get it looped around, tighten it. Then you go around the other side. You get your white wire on the silver side. And we'll do the same thing. Now we're going to go with our ground. You're not going to use the other screws on this one. So you can go ahead and tighten the other screws on this one here. I'm going to peel the outer cover back about four to three inches. Once you get it cut back about three to four inches, you should be able to slide this right off. And there you go, you got your three wires. This is something you kind of want to do before you peel your wires, is to slide this into your power cord. Kind of want to do that before and then you want to get your box and this box comes with this cover that you can simply just you can hit it with a small hammer or a screwdriver to knock them off i already went ahead and took one off you slide this right in there and 
and then this should be able to fit right in here and then you got this other small piece just slide that right in there you slide that right in there you can put it right on here and tighten it up Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Once we get done, then you can tighten these screws down and it keeps the wire from sliding in and out. Once you get this wire done and you got it through that loop, what you want to do next is the alley you had finished earlier, you want to bring that one in and what we're going to do is we're going to get the two green wires and we're going to put them together. Like that. And we're gonna get our other outlet. You're gonna be able to get the white wire coming from the power cord and hook it on one of these bolts. And then you'll be able to get the other white wire coming from our outlet we had finished earlier and put it in the other bolt. Then when you turn it around, you got your brass, two brass for both of the black wires, the one coming from the extension cord and the one coming from outlet we had finished earlier. And then on this side, you have your green wire where you're going to hook both of your ground wires on. On your outlets on each side you have two silver for your two white one white coming in from the power cord one going out to the other outlet then you got one ground wire coming from the power cord one going out to the other outlet on the back side you have one black wire coming from the power cord and one going out to the other outlet Make sure all the wires are tight and they're not going to come loose. Always want to pull a little on it to make sure they don't want to come loose. Your next step is to put your outlets in the cover and to get it screwed down through the holes provided with the hardware they provide for you. Slide it in right there and there's bolts that they provide that you can stick one on each side to tighten it up. Once you get your bolts put on here, you want to tighten them up. sure they're lined up the same way once you get it make sure that your bolts are tight and they're not going to come loose on your box on each corner it has a bolt you want to loosen those up you want to pull out your excess wire you want to leave some inside you don't want it completely out so before we tighten this on top you want to tighten the screws on the side that's going to keep the wire from sliding out Once you get that done, you're going to press all this wire down in here. You want to put your bolts that's going to hold the cover down to the bottom on opposite corners. Once you get both corners tight, this is what the box should look like. Got your wire going in there tight, covers tight, and you got both outlets. Put the opposite end of the power cord into the plug. On this plug, 
you got three bolts in the front, you got two in the back. These two are meant to hold the wire tight so it don't come out. This one's here. You loosen both all three of those bolts. I have mine loose already. And then you pull that cover out. What you want to do next is loosen these two out. And then once you loosen them out, pull this apart. That way you can slide your wire right through here. Once you slide your wire through, pull enough excess that you can have enough space to plug on here. On here, it's going to be the same way. You got your brass for your black, you have your white or silver for your white wire, and then you have your green for your ground. You're going to loose the bolts and then slide the wire in that opening and then tighten the bolt to tighten the wire in place. Once you get your wires tightened on the bolts they're supposed to go on, remember to give them a little pull to make sure they're not too loose and they're not going to come loose on you. You want to slide this back in. Next thing is you want to tighten the bolts on top. Next thing is you want to tighten the two bolts on the back to hold your wire, keep it from coming out. That's what your power cord should look like. You have your plug to plug it into the wall and at the opposite end you have your four outlet plugs. And um, if you got a power tester, you always want to test it to make sure um, you don't got to short or something. You don't want the last thing you want to do is show up to your event and plug it in and short something out. So it's always good to get yourself some kind of power tester and make sure that everything's right, everything's grounded right, and nothing's shorted out. I hope this helps you out. I hope you guys go out and get your own power cord made out. Um, like I said, it's a lot simpler and it looks a lot better. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to go down below and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like this channel. Make any comments. Give me any comments you guys got, any ideas you got, and we'll see you on the next one.